Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I am sharing my latest design project for my porch prints. And this is using the Alice in Wonderland themed digital kits. I've used a few separate pieces from the shop and I love the shabby chic feel to them. So I'm going to show you um, what I've done. I also have this little booklet that was inspired by Rosa Kelly, which I will show you later in the video. And I'm also going to show you how to make the base of it. So to get started, um, I was so inspired by the digitals and I wanted to do something shabby chic and girly. So you can see I've got these little appliques of flowers and a little heart. I've got some bling happening here. The idea behind this is that I wanted to make like a pen pal sharing kit or like a little stationery set that you could have on your desk. I've used uh, several different envelope styles in this kit um, and again the thought was you could write a little note, you know, put it in a journal, uh, put it in a mail. Um, this little mason jar shape, um, I got the idea from Lolly Palooza. Um, I saw recently one of her videos showing how to make these little mason jars and I thought it was just so cute so I had to add one. And then you've got this little file folder, look at the gorgeous digitals, right? Oh my goodness, I just love these. Um, I have coffee stained or sprayed most of the pages, um, but again, I thought it would just be such a cute little kind of themed kit to have um, ready to go if you wanted to use it for something. I've done several different little pockets in this little, um, I guess it's like a little envelope holder, that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, here again, I've coffee sprayed some of these pages just to give them that little crinkle and that vintage feel. And then I've added a couple of other pieces. So this one is also one of the digital kits. Um, I will link everything that I have used below. Here I've coffee stained this um, designer paper. And then I've done the flips a little different than how um, Stephanie has the tutorial on her channel to make this little folio. Um, again, it's just making little tuck spots and little areas to write notes or a little quote or you know something you may wanna send to a friend. I'm really enjoying, um, you know, kind of the idea of putting something like this together. Um, I will definitely be making more and um, I'm thinking of making maybe some shabby chic styled ones as well. So here you've got um, kind of like a repurposed envelope, recycled envelope. I have a video showing you how to make something similar to this. I will link it below. Again, I've used some Stamperia paper for this one. I had some Alice in Wonderland themed Stamperia paper and I thought I would you know, use a couple pieces in this set. Here, um, you've got another Stamperia paper tag. I've added a charm to that that says Wonderland. And so, of course, you know, it kind of finishes off the theme. Now, there's also, um, a pocket in the uh, big envelope and it ha it's double-sided as well so I will show you that in a second I love coffee staining envelopes they just have such a nice crinkle to them so I'm showing you here there's a large pocket where you can put um, you know a little notepad or something this um, journal page happens to be five and a half by eight I believe so it's quite a large fit for you know anything else you might want to tuck in there and now I'm just gonna show you the back because like I said, it is double-sided. And so on the back, again, I've done some layering. These pockets, I actually have them in my shop. There's different styles that I have made and I'll just leave that link if you're interested. I sell them in sets. Um, I love these little tags. And the pockets come in different styles of paper like vintage wallpaper, different types of um, designer paper, etc. You can see how the um, gorgeous digital goes so nicely with all the coffee staining. Again, these are just part of the kit. More little bits and pieces where you can add some, you know, notes or quotes. And um, yeah, that's that's it for this one. Um, now this one is spoken for, but I will have some shabby chic sets in my shop. If you don't see them, just send me an email. They may have sold out. I'm just sort of making them um, little by little here and there. Um, I may not be making that many, but if you're interested, definitely send me um, an email um, or just check out the shop. I will leave the links below and you can send me an email through there as well. I really love Alice in Wonderland themed anything. And so I thought putting this together was so fun. 
and it would be such a great idea for pen pal mail as well so now the little mini flip book is a rosa kelly scrapbooking idea i will link her channel below if you're interested in seeing what she has done um, but here I just wanted to kind of make a lot of the little you know flip ups and tuck spots and everything so you have spaces to journal or to add a little photo um, this could be a cute little you know baby um, kind of scrapbook um, I love like I said the idea that she had with all the little pockets and tuck spots now I made mine a little different um, as always you know we get inspired by others she used a blank scrapbook paper for it i used a double-sided scrapbook paper for it and i'm sure you could you know do whatever you want with yours um, but i thought having a little bit of background already on the paper just kind of gave it um, just a little bit more of a nicer finish i am going to show you how to make the base pages um, in a little bit so i'm just going to flip through this one and then show you a base page again you can see just all the gorgeous little Alice in Wonderland theme pieces I think I used three or four of the different kits that uh, Stephanie has in the shop um, and I just kind of made sure to combine them so that they would all coordinate nicely and I just really love how they turned out so here's a little pocket and I just included this little envelope again it can be sealed you can journal in it etc but wouldn't this make like the perfect little snail mail piece where you can just add um, you know little things to send to your pen pals and they'd have such a fun time discovering all the little flips and tucks and everything so we've got a little um, guest check tag this flips up again more space to either write a little quote or put a little picture and then the other side of the little teacup I just added that little tag that's almost like a little um, I meant it to look like a little biscuit inside the teacup and then you've got um, another little tuck spot here and then this flips down again and you've got more little bits and pieces to look at so that's it for this share you guys I hope you enjoyed it I'll be showing you how to make the base page right now with just a one uh, sheet of paper um, I will link again Rosa Kelly's channel below if you haven't seen it and um, yeah, let's get started. I hope you guys enjoyed the share. Don't forget to check out my shop. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Oh, and by the way, enter my latest giveaway. Okay, so we start with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Mine is um, single-sided here, but you can use uh, you know, a blank one or you can use a double-sided one, it doesn't matter. So you start scoring at three, then six then nine inches and again I'm just going to repeat it three six and then nine and then you'll flip it over and you'll score at four and six so you'll see a little bit clearer on the white side of the scrapbook paper where my score lines are. I love projects that are one page bases and then you can do so much with them. Okay, so I'll flip it over again because you can see it better this way. You've got basically 12 little squares and what you're going to do next is cut from the second to the third square all the way um, across. Okay, so I'm just going to show you with my scissors. You can use your um, paper cutter, etc. And basically you're just cutting right at your score lines all the way to the top score line that you made. So right to that first one you made here. And you'll do this all across the um, other sections that you've scored. And now you'll see here that I'm just struggling a little bit, um, but you're trying to be as straight as possible. Now, don't make the mistakes that I did, which is not cutting it straight. Um, make sure you cut yours as straight as possible um, because that's going to make the perfect um, you know, page size for your little booklet. So now you can see I'm just bringing them up and folding them over onto themselves. And this is going to be just the base um, start for your little booklet. Now also make sure that when you're scoring it, that you're scoring 
at a straight line you don't want them to be all wonky like I made mine and this is just the one I'm showing you guys how to make it quick um, it's not one that I'll be using but I just wanted to give you the um, the idea on how I made it and then I'm also going to show you um, you know after it's done how it compares to the one I showed you that has the Alice in Wonderland theme that I finished so here I'm just trying to make sure that I've strained it out as much as possible and again when you're making yours make sure that you also use maybe a test paper just in case you don't want to use your nice sheet of paper maybe you've got one left and then it ends up not working out so I always like to use one as a template so I'm showing you again you've got all your folded pieces that you've scored and now what we're going to do is glue start gluing and start kind of scoring everything um, here I'm just trying to straighten out my lines and again don't do what I've done here because I messed it up and I kind of made it all wonky but what you're trying to do is just make sure your lines are straight in every little cut that you make so I'll be doing that to the four pieces I'll speed this up a little bit Okay, so here I'm showing you what they look like once we've cut off the edges. The reason I cut off a little bit of the excess and the reason um, she showed how to do that as well is because you don't want your pages to stick when you're trying to open the flaps. Um, if the paper is too close together, it won't work well. Here you see me folding the center back. I grab the last little flap and fold it um, onto itself and then the front towards the um, front of the booklet. So now you've got your little booklet and it's going to look like an M. You can see that there. So now this becomes the front of your little booklet. Again, I'm going to score it just to try and get it even. But as you can see, the edges kind of stick out because you know when you fold paper onto itself, it kind of tends to do that. So we've got our little M. Now we're going to start gluing. So you're going to take your booklet and flip it over and at the center you'll pick one side and just add glue to the whole back page there. And what we're going to do here is bring them together and then glue that shut so it becomes basically the center of your little booklet but it is now adhered together. So you can see here when we open it, the center is now stuck together. It looks like a little T. So we'll open the first page and we are going to glue uh, one of the flaps so we can make the pocket. So we'll, or we are going to add glue to the top of the back of this page and then the side of the little flap. And that's just how I like to do it to make the pocket. Um, that will be to your left when you seal the pages so you can see how that is going to look and then you've got your little uh, pocket ready to go in the front now this one you'll leave just as it is and then when you flip over the other one you'll be doing the same thing which is gluing the top and bottom but first I'm attempting again to fix this and I make a bigger mess so don't do what I'm doing um, this is just my sample just like to show you guys how to do this process but don't do exactly what I did because then you'll mess it up um, so what you're really trying to do is just to get your edges straight so that your pages are not bumping into each other when you're opening the flaps and that was my attempt there so again you see I glued the top and the side and now when you stick that together again you're going to have another little pocket that you've just glued together and then if you leave this one as is again it's your uh, piece that flops down so I'm just going to show you where the pockets are so you've got your flap going up there now you can put you know your images etc and then here's your little pocket the first one that you glued together this flops down or flips down and then 
this one flips up just like the first page and then you've got your little pocket or hidden secret tuck spot in that center there and then you've got this one that goes down as well so that's it your one page booklet um, I love the idea of just you know adding so many bits and pieces to these to send in pen pal mail or to your friends and I'm just showing you side by side how it looks with the one I finished and then you can kind of see where all the little you know pockets and flips are again just to show you how I um, decorated mine um, to get an idea how you could decorate yours and then again when you flip that over you've got the other little flip up spot here and then this one that flips down. And of course, underneath I've also decorated as well as you have seen when I showed you the flip through. So I hope you guys enjoyed the share. I had so much fun putting this together. I um, definitely will be making more to send in mail and let me know if you make one. Don't forget to um, you know tag me on Instagram or um, on Facebook and uh, let me know if you want me to decorate it. Um, I mean, I wasn't planning on decorating this one, but I could. Um, and don't forget to check out my shop. I will be updating um, more things that are there um, to sell for sure. I'll have one of these um, little pen pal um, kits for sure available, the chic style ones, I think. Um, and if you don't see one, just send me an email. Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.